Okay, William Hutchison, I'm over at D1 today and I want to do this video. I don't know how it's going to turn out. It may, may be a little bit choppy, <clears throat> but I want to, uh, I mentioned D1 in a few of my videos. It's a place where you want to buy your staples if you come to Columbia. Stay away from the big box stores and <clears throat> for things like rice and uh, salt, sugar. I'm just going to take a, <clears throat> a quick walk around. I can't show you everything because uh, the video would get way too long. But um, let's get started with some of the things that uh, you might be interested in. Uh, let, let me get the camera turned around and we'll get started. Okay, so he, here's the store, beautiful, bright. This store is new, it's only been open for about a year and um, has automatic doors. You might've just heard them behind me. And when you come in, uh, you get into the wine, into the wine section. I'll just show you uh, a couple here. Here's, here's a wine uh, from, uh, it looks like it's from France, and $26,990 for the bottle. So that uh, equates to about $7, 750 mil and 13 ounce. There's one here, this is Portugal, Pinta Negra. It's the same uh, 750 mil with 13%, and it's about $6 for that bottle. They have other wines, they have... Uh, uh, rum here's here's a rum here black barrel uh, 750 mil 35 percent alcohol and it is about uh, eight dollars for that bottle of rum here's a bottle of uh, uh, vodka and it's about uh, 11 maybe 12 dollars here's Gaelic it's a uh, crema a whiskey crema and it sells for about nine dollars for that bottle. I guess it'd be 750 mil. Uh, let's see if we can pick it up here. Uh, yeah, there it is. There, 750 mil, and um, what's that? 15 percent alcohol. So let's continue on down. Uh, th this is where all of the be the beverages are. I want to show you the water because <laughs> I, I know in some of the some of the U.S., you're paying a horrible price for bottled water. This is Ogbuckone gas, okay, 600 mil. And you look at the price here, 890, 21, 22 cents for that. But they have everything. They have uh, all of the pop, Coca-Cola. Uh, Coke just about owns this country. Not a lot of Pepsi here. And I prefer Pepsi because I find it, not that I drink a lot. Um, all of the cookies here. Uh, they have Oreo. I don't see them here now. Or is this? Yeah, here's Oreo. A small package of Oreo. Uh, they're pretty popular, I understand. And yeah, they're about a buck and a half for that uh, package. Okay. Come down here. Crackers. Here's um, uh, jams, marmalades, those sorts of things. Uh, honey, uh, peanut butter. Peanut butter's gone way up in price. I was buying that for uh, less than a dollar uh, a year ago, and now it's about a dollar seventy-five. Okay, you have a small selection of fruits and vegetables. You don't buy them here, though. I mean, if you're stuck, yes, but uh, generally, no. Uh, chocolates, all kinds of. Uh, I don't mean chocolates. I mean hot chocolate. Here's the coffee selection here. This um, this is a, is a specialty coffee, 250 grams, uh, 13.9. That's about uh, uh, 375. Cafe Candillo is a little less. It's also a specialty coffee, 250 grams. That is um, oh, not even three. Oh, yeah, about three dollars. And this one here is the one I buy. They're just the regular everyday. I I don't notice the difference. So 500 grams of that is about uh, uh, 375, maybe, yeah, about 375, okay. Let's go down here. <clears throat> One thing I like about Colombia, a lot of things are in squeeze. Here's ketchup, Zev, uh, I buy this, and it's a uh, 500 gram squeeze bag, <coughs> excuse me about a dollar 25 okay mayo is uh is the same they have uh 
uh, mayo with uh, less fat, um, all down here. Okay, on this side, we have uh, a lot of people like almond milk, and for a liter, it's uh, oh two dollars. Okay, maybe two o five. Okay, a bit of frozen food here, frozen fish, and so on. Uh, there's barbecue sauce here somewhere. I might have walked past it. Uh, it's about a dollar fifty for 550 grams. On this side, you have your lentils, uh, corn, um, rice is here. Uh, there's a price here for rice. Let me see what it is. Uh, uh, integral for a thousand grams is about a dollar thirty-five, dollar forty. Over here, you have your your cooking oils. Uh, olive oil has really gone up in price. This is 500 uh, milliliters, and it's uh, about uh, maybe eight dollars now. Uh, I was buying that for like four, not too long ago. Here's uh, vegetable oil. This one is two liters, and it's oh two dollars and. 40 50 cents okay you've got lentils here rice uh, beans um, pretty much anything anything you want okay let's go down one more aisle and we'll swing around here's for example spaghetti sauce this one is napolitana I guess it's supposed to have a little bit of meat that's about a dollar sixty, dollar seventy. Uh, no, that's uh, uh, vegetable, I guess. This one is the meat, and it's uh, two dollars. And both of those are four hundred gram. Here's ten tomatoes. I use them uh, about a dollar twenty or a dollar twenty-five for a two hundred and forty gram um, can, and they're decent quality. Okay, tuna here. Um, 54.50. That's about a dollar sixty, maybe a dollar seventy, for uh, it looks like 170 grams on the uh, on the can there. Okay, continue down here. There's frozen foods. Oh, here's the barbecue. 65.90, about a dollar sixty, dollar seventy for 550 grams. Over here, all kinds of cleaning supplies. You buy cleaning supplies here or at D1. Here's toilet paper, okay. This is um, triple here. It's uh, almost 400 meters, and it's uh, about uh, 350 for that. Uh, kitchen towel, uh, there's 50 sheets, and it's about uh, 40 cents for a roll. refrigerated area here over here we have uh, cheese parmesan let's have a look at well there's no price on that one did this one here 100 grams is about two dollars for 100 grams they have sour cream uh, these are mozzarella balls a pretty good selection okay These are cleaning garbage bags, cleaning um, things to help. Just some more bleach, laundry soap, those kinds of things. And then down here is the beauty supplies. I don't buy the beauty supplies because, for example, I have a fellow, a friend that sells to the... Um, hairdressers and barbers and I buy from him. Alba buys head and shoulders, I don't. So I don't know what she pays for it. She probably buys it here. Maybe it's a little cheaper. I have no idea. Okay, so we're we're back to the front and that's the video for today. Um, just gives you some idea of the prices. It's no different shopping here than it is anywhere else. It's uh, 
exactly the same as Australia, North America, Canada. No difference at all, okay? So William Hutchison, Armenia Columbia Realty for expats, and Salento Columbia Realty signing off. Have a great day. I live in paradise, and you can too.